Hello, Happy New Year and welcome to 2021. Praise God. Now, we bless God for bringing us into this year. Now, it's going to be an amazing year, I'm telling you. See, because I've heard from the Lord concerning this year. Now, I know, I know the season looks tough. I know the season, you know, lots of, lots of things happening, lots of sad news coming out from every part of the world. But let me tell you this. This is just going to last till about the end of this month of January. And then great things will begin to spring out. <laughs> Praise God. I'm telling you the truth. Don't get distracted with what is happening now and become despondent in life. Don't get distracted and begin to tell yourself, what's the point? No, there is a point. Praise God. What's the point? God is planning an amazing thing for your life. Remember what he says, his plans concerning us, they are good and not evil. And note this, that whatever is happening right now didn't take God by surprise. For him to have allowed it to be so, there must have been a good that he has seen. He said, but what, what, what good? Relax. That's why he says his thoughts are not your thoughts. Praise God. Now, I know, I know many people have lost a loved one. Many people are, uh, uh, have people that are in the hospital and, and things like that. But listen, the goodness of God is still full in the earth. Now that's what I told in the month of December. And that's the same thing I'm, I'm going to be sharing with you right now. How to get into this, especially this, this, this part we are in. You know, I was praying and asking the Lord, Lord, how, how do we approach this year, 2021? And then the Lord spoke to me. He said, I have already told you what to do. Hold on to that word I gave to you in Psalm 103 verse 4. Now let me read that for you, Psalm 103 and verse 4. Now this is a word to all of God's children. If you are a child of God, hold on to these truths that I'm going to share with you right now. Praise God. Now what is it? Now this is a New Year message I'm giving you. So it's so important that you understand. Now Psalm 103 verse 4, it says, Who redeems your life from destruction who redeems your life from destruction now if you read from verse 1 it says bless the lord O my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name bless the lord O my soul and forget not all his benefits now as one benefit he lists here in verse 4 now i'm saying taking this verse 4 because that's what is very important for you right now he says, who redeems, note the word he used there. He didn't say, who redeemed, past tense. No, he said, who redeems, present continuous terms. Now, it, it's not, um, this is not a translator's error. This is not, um, no, 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 no. It is the reality. God actually, remember Psalm 68 verse 19. He says, he daily loads us with benefits. How often? Daily. See? So when, when David spoke here and says, Who redeems? How often? Daily. Who redeems your life from destruction? Now the word of the Lord came to us last month in, in December. December 1st to precise when we're praying concerning the month. And the Lord says, You will hold the scripture for the rest of the year. That's what they all said. You will hold the scripture and you must confess it with understanding on a daily basis. And if you, the Lord actually said, if you break bread on a daily basis, hold on to this word even as you break bread. Now, if you don't break bread, he says, put it somewhere where you will remember. You don't miss it on any day. You put it before your eyes. You put it on the doorpost. You put it on, on, on the head of your, the, the, the wall facing your bed. So when you wake up in the morning, you see it. And when you see it, what do you do? You declare it. You say, Father, I thank you because you have redeemed my life today from every kind of destruction. It's a daily thing. I'm telling you this. Because God wants you to live. He loves you. He wants you well. He wants you alive. Praise God. Now that's why he's giving his warning to us. He's giving his instruction to us. And listen to me. 
2021 is going to be the year of instructions. I'm telling you, if you want to win, listen to what the Lord is saying. Listen. No, not, not, not. I didn't say go listen to your prophet or a prophet. Yeah, of course, prophets will still be prophets. They will still speak the word of the Lord. But I'm telling you, this one, this one, you need to hear for yourself in your spirit. You need to hear the voice of God for yourself. And that's why I'm going to take the first part from next week to be doing some, a series of teachings on, on the first things you need to sort out for the year. If those things are sorted out, then you are set for 2021. No matter what is going to happen. Praise God. So, he says, he redeems your life from destruction. Note, he says, redeems, number one. Not us, present continuous tense. Then also the word redeem. Redeem doesn't mean to just deliver. Redeem means to deliver by buying back. Not us. You see, I'm paying something. When you say, I'm going to redeem my shirt or I'm going to redeem my car. What does that mean? It was held for a reason. So when I meet the criteria, then I can take the car. Now, if I'm going as a strong man to take my car, I'm not going to say I'm going to redeem my car. I'll say I'm going to deliver my car. Or I'm going to deliver. You understand what I'm saying? So why did he use the word redeem? Why did he use the word redeem? See, because... You see, oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Just like Jesus died for us on the cross. Now, when he did that, he redeemed us from hell. See? Because everyone was doomed for hell. But by the death of Jesus, we were redeemed from hell. Now, note that also. When we say we are redeemed from hell, it's not everybody that is just redeemed from it. You know, some of the people confuse this thing. Say, Jesus has died for everybody. Yes, he's died for everyone. In other words, everyone has an opportunity to live. But it doesn't mean everybody will live because Jesus died. You don't get this. And listen to me. Jesus died for us. Yes. But the people that are going to live because of his deaths are those who believe in him. Now, what does it mean to believe in him? It's not just to say, I go to church, so I believe in Jesus Christ. No, it is to set your heart to the things he has spoken. Set your heart to the things Jesus has said. What he represents. What he says. When your heart is on to what he is saying, what he represents, then you show that you believe in him. And when you believe in him, oh, you know, remember what Jesus said to the Jews. I think that's in, in John chapter 8. He says, if you continue in my words, then you are my disciples indeed. And you will know. See, now he says you continue in my word. Then you are showing that you are my disciple indeed. Then what's going to happen? You will know the truth. So you don't know the truth from day one. No, 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 no. You continue with him. Now, you know why? Because he is the revealer of the truth. See, because he is truth himself. He says, I am the truth. So it is when he gives you truth that you will know what truth is. Then he also says, I am the life. And, 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 and that, funny enough, that is the real purpose Jesus came to give us life. So I'm going to be sharing all these things in details with you. Praise God. So get ready for an amazing year. But hold on to this truth. He redeems your life. From destruction. Pray it over yourself. Pray it over your family members. Pray it over everyone that have been connected to you. See, remember I was sharing with you towards the end of last year that we are the seed of Abraham. And through us, all the families of the earth will be blessed. Now, this is time to take advantage of that, that, that truth for your family members and for everyone who's connected to you. you. When you declare this word in Psalm 103 verse 4, you declare it over your family members. Say, ah, Father, I declare over myself that you have redeemed me from destruction today. 
I declare over my family, you've redeemed us from its destruction. Today, I declare over everyone who's connected to me, whatever way they are connected to you. Now, someone may have been of help to you in the past. He is now connected. This is time to bring forth all that blessing. I'm telling you the truth. Everyone who have done you good, for whatever reason, it's time to hold them up right now. You know why? See, that they will not be victims of the season that God has permitted. I'm telling you the truth. Now, even you listening to me and you who have been following this broadcast and listening to me, listen, you are part of those who are connected to me. And that's why I pray right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I declare that you will not die. Mantakala bragadushakala. Oh, because we believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and the life that he brought to us. I speak life into your body. I speak life into your, your, your whole being. In the name of the Lord Jesus, death is not part of you. You are not going to be a victim in this season. I declare even as the Lord have said that he will give his angels charge over us. Now he's already done it. Praise God. Yeah, he's done it already. I declare that the angels are watching jealously over you. And they will keep you from every harm way. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you are going to set out on a journey that will harm you, they are going to frustrate that journey. You will not start that trip. I'm talking about the angels right now. Now I'm talking to those, those who will not listen or hear the voice of God. So I'm praying for you now. The best part is that you hear the voice of God. And then he leads you gently. But you know, sometimes people get stubborn. Now that is why we intercede. That is why we pray for people. So I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Even right now, the influence of the Holy Spirit is strong upon your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, He leads you. He guides you. Father, I declare that everyone listening to me right now, everyone who listens to this broadcast, I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that their lives have been redeemed from destruction. In the name of Jesus, I declare them free in this season. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You shall not be victims of this virus. You shall not be victims of any form of death or destruction. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the Lord indeed redeems your life from destruction on a daily basis. I declare that in the name of the Lord Jesus, sorrow shall not be your portion in 2021. In the name of the Lord Jesus, rather you shall be full of joy and gladness and blessings and prosperity and goodness. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, for the Lord is demonstrating his love to you in this season. I declare peace in your life. Peace in your family, peace in your job, peace in your business. Oh, manto pradi pladaska pardi. The fear of the world shall not be your fear. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Rather, when men say there is a casting down, you will have every reason to say, Oh, I got lifted up this year. Praise God. That shall be your story for 2021. You are immune from every form of evil. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We hold on to your truth. We hold on to your word. On a daily basis, you keep us alive and safe. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I bless you, Lord. And I bless everyone who's, who's watching and listening right now. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Now, welcome to 2021. Hear me, this year you are taking a flight that will take you into your destiny. God bless you. I'll see you on Monday and I'll begin to teach you how to enter into the year properly on Monday. God bless you. Bye-bye.